We're going to be manual muscle testing both palmar and dorsal interossei now. Again, palmar interossei is responsible for doing adduction of fingers 2, 4, and 5 at the metacarpophalangeal joints, um, but it also holds the finger in extension of its interphalangeal joints and some flexion at the metacarpophalangeal. We're really only going to be testing the flexion component, but we will position her finger into a little bit of flexion and ask her to hold it straight as we go through these actions. So I'm going to show you the action of the first one. So I'd like you to bring your second towards your third finger for me. Good. So there's the active range of motion for our first palmar interossei. Next, I'm going to hold on to the third finger, ask her to bring her fourth towards her third for me. Good. So there's the active range of motion for our second. And then we will repeat that with the pinky or fifth digit. Right. So there is active range of motion for all three of the palmar interossei muscles. For the brake test, I'm going to try to grab onto the phalanx, holding it in extension, and ask her not to let me move her as I pull that second and third apart. Three, two, and one. Excellent. And I'm going to add the concentric to it while we're here. So I'm going to start with it brought over, and she's going to bring it up against her third. Go ahead. Great. So I've just done the brake and concentric for that first palmar interossei. Now we're going to repeat the break and concentric for the next two fingers. So I'm going to again ask you to hold these two together as I pull apart. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. And starting from a lengthened position, please bring it up against your third. Great. And lastly, the same thing. Hold this in position as I try to pull it apart. Five, four, three, two, one. And starting from a lengthened position, bring it up against the fourth finger for us. Good. So there's the active break and concentric for all of our palmar interossei. While I'm here, I'm going to go through the length position for each one of those, and then we will continue on with dorsal. Because of its action of doing adduction um, at the metacarpophalangeal joint as well as flexion, I'm going to take this finger into some extension as well as bring it out into abduction. You can also notice that I have a little bit of flexion at both of those interphalangeal joints as I've done that. So that is the length for our first interossei. I'm going to do the same procedure. I'm going to bring this fourth finger into extension and a little bit of flexion at the interphalangeal as we abduct it away from the third. So that'll be lengthening out the second palmar interossei. And then we'll repeat the process for the last one. Extension, abduction at the metacarpophalangeal with flexion of the two interphalangeal joints. So that concludes the active break and concentric and length for Palmer. And now we're going to turn her hand over to go through dorsal and We're going to go through the actions one more time with you and I'll show you an active component. I'm going to ask that you abduct our second finger away from the third to start. Good. So that's for dorsal and thoracic number one. Holding that over. You're going to repeat that process by bringing the third over towards the second for me. Good. So that's dorsal interossei number two. Now starting with your finger up against the second, you're going to bring it over to the third. Good. So that is activating our third one. I'm going to repeat myself one more time. That was bringing the third finger over towards the fourth. Just for clarity, activating this one. And lastly, bringing our ring finger over towards the pinky. Good. And so that'll be activating the fourth dorsal Interossei. So she's done the active components for all four of our bellies. Now we're going to go into the break test. So what I'm going to be doing is asking her to basically go this direction as I try to pull that finger. So hold your finger. Hang on one second. Bring it over here and I'm going to try to pull it that way. Good. Three, two, and one. And relax. So she was trying to abduct as I was adducting and pulling it that direction. Now, same thing, you're going to try to hold this third finger over towards your second as I try to pull it apart a little bit. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And now you're going to pull it all the way over. Good. There's the break in concentric for that finger. You're going to try to hold these two together as I pull that third away from the fourth. This one's going to be usually a little bit tricky for people to do. Hold those two together. Good. 
two, one. And now if you can pull this third over towards your fourth. Good. And our last one here is going to be to try to bring your fourth over towards your pinky. So I'm going to try to bring it this direction as you're trying to pull it that way. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. And now I'm going to let you in. So pull over towards the pinky. Excellent. So that was the active break and concentric for each of the four bellies for dorsal and terracii. So the last thing that we're going to do is lengthen them. Now because this muscle does abduction, but secondarily does flexion of the metacarpophalangeal joint while extending the interphalangeal joints, for our first dorsal and terracii, I'm going to extend it, adduct it while keeping the distal two joints flexed. So there's dorsal and terracea number one. I'm going to repeat the process for number two. So remember it abducted this way. So I'm going to extend and adduct it over top of the ring finger. Okay. Now the third belly abducted the finger in this direction. So for this one I'm going to extend and adduct it over top of the second. And finally, our last belly abducted the finger towards the fifth, so I'm going to extend and adduct it towards the third finger. And that will complete the lengthening of all four bellies of dorsal interosseus.